It's the title of his long-awaited report. We had these issues in the 80s. We've got these issues now. They're issues that need to be dealt with. Professor Cole Drake's wide-ranging probe has revealed there is a culture too tolerant of bullying, dominated by short-term political thinking and a loss of capacity in the public service accelerated by an over-reliance on external contractors and consultants. The tone in an organisation is always significantly set at the top. Absolutely. Culture starts at the top. And that's why our Premier took the step to call Peter Coldrake for an expert independent review. It's the biggest review into public sector accountability since the Fitzgerald inquiry and makes 14 recommendations, among them releasing and publishing cabinet submissions within 30 days of decisions, enhancing the independence of integrity bodies and prohibiting lobbyists from dual hatting as political campaigners. Invoking the words of former Premier Micah Hearn after the Fitzgerald inquiry, the Palaszczuk government has vowed to implement all of the recommendations lock, stock and barrel. The Premier didn't front the cameras today. She says she had a two-hour dental surgery that could not be delayed, but is promised to be available tomorrow. The opposition says the report is scathing. It talks about a rotten culture which comes from the top. And David Crisofulli says it doesn't go far enough. The report strengthens our calls for a royal commission. It identifies a lot of crimes, but not a single culprit. The author says there's not a quick fix, but has provided a blueprint. What needs to shift is there needs to be a, a cultural shift toward accepting that there is a right of the community to know what's going on inside government. Kate McKenna, ABC News.